Hello, it is Rachel and Mom here with you today to do a makeup look for mature skin that is natural and easy. So, thank you very much, Mom, for being my demonstration person today. I'm so glad to do it. I'm going to ask you to start with the primer. You just do one pump on your finger and smooth it over your face. Like that? Um, one full pump. Oh, I didn't. Not like that. Okay. So she's applying just our regular makeup primer. Let's see, if I get a hand behind it, you can read it. There we go. By Arvon. It is smooth and silky, and it gives you a wonderful, smooth canvas on which to put the makeup. It also helps your makeup stay in place longer and better not melt off in the heat. This is our Arbonne Intelligence Lip Treatment. It is like a primer for your lips. It will help to smooth out any wrinkles that you are starting to develop, fine lines and wrinkles around your mouth. So you rub it on the skin around your mouth as well as on your lips. It will also help to make a smooth foundation for your lipstick. It feels so good. <laughs> I like it too. And finally, this is our Prime and Proper Eye Makeup Primer. And I'm going to dot it and then you can rub it in. There, we're getting a little more than we did yesterday. <laughs> and then just gently apply that to your eyes and once again it's going to help to have you actually need to use less um makeup for a rich color hmm. and give you that smooth base i'm gonna close this just a tiny bit so that we don't have such a glare in the picture there we go. Oh, good. Now, we have our foundation set up. The other thing that I love about our eye makeup primer is that it's a very light tint to it. So that if you're like me and you tend to have redness or any other kind of discoloration on your eyelids in the morning, it will calm down that redness so that it's not competing with your eyeshadow. Next, we're gonna go with our CC Cream. This is Pollution Defense, Arbonne Intelligence Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And I will give you some, say when for when you usually That's good. to tap on your face. Mom's much more meticulous about hers than I am. <laughs> I'm usually just like, mm, a little blob there, blob there. So you don't need a lot of smoothing in with the brush. But I love this brush by It Cosmetics because it will, with its triangular shape, it will get into the little curves around your nose and your eyes very well and help you to have that smooth full coverage look. And you want to go down the neck just a little bit under the jawline and the chin 
to blend it so you don't have a line <laughs> of makeup, no makeup. This is number 22, Heavenly Luxe Bye Bye Foundation. So it blends in so well to make it look like just your natural skin. Now, that's what we need. Let's do eyes next. So I am using, it's all in the eyes volume two eyeshadow palette. And the colors that I'm using on mom are, hopefully you don't see my mouse all there in the way, the opal, the amethyst, and then a little bit of the marble or quartz as kind of a highlight. So, there are your brushes. <laughs> We're gonna start with the opal, which is this lovely shimmery, slightly pink, but very neutral shade. That's her main eyeshadow color. And it just grabs on to that wonderful eye primer so that I really do not have to use much to get a beautiful, rich, sort of a rose gold color on her eyes. One thing that helps if you're working with a looser skin on the eyes is to raise your eyebrows like she's doing for me. That helps you get a smoother surface to work on without having to pull and tug on the eye area. Then we're going to go to our amethyst. And I'm doing some, I know most of us have heard to do the darker color in your crease, but I believe that that is for people who want, you know, that they don't go above the crease to make their eyes look more deeply set than they are, to give them more definition and shape. And mom has beautiful, deeply set eyes. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting it a little bit on this brow bone here above the crease to actually soften the depth a little bit. So you can really just use makeup to create whatever look you're going for, whether it is to work with the shape of your eyes to make them appear deeper or to make them appear slightly less deep. But a darker color recedes, so mm -hmm. that's why it can play with the light like that. And then for this one, we did the quartz yesterday, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking I'll try the marble because it's slightly paler. Okay. And Sarah was suggesting <laughs> a little more lightning would be even better than the amount that I did. We practiced yesterday. That's why I keep <laughs> saying yesterday. We both needed to get ourselves ready and see how we were going to set this up with the camera angles and everything. I think it's harder to do it even me on the far away eye. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's all your fault. Why didn't you have your eyes both on the same Poor side? Sir. <laughs> That would have been so much more helpful, Mom. Oh, Come on. yeah. So it's looking pretty good. You do want to blend so that it's not completely harsh lines, but it's looking pretty good, really. All right. So that is the shadow. And we will do. 
there, pencil. I'm going to do a combination of the Shape It Up Tinted Brow Cream and the pencil that Mom already had. She likes a brown for a softer shade. And pencil is really a big help if you need to fill in where you've lost some hair or over plucked or over waxed if you were here during the 90s and the tiny tiny pencil thin eyebrow stage that <clears throat> happened so the pencil will help you create the illusion of more thickness and depth where you might have lost it i'm trying to find the softest side but we're that's good and you want to just do little flicks up in the direction that your brow grows to imitate more hair growing there now what i'm not going to do is attempt to make mom's eyebrows or my own for that matter into that thick solid like printed on look <laughs> that the much younger generation is doing these days because to me that looks totally fake and i think it would age us to try to copy that exactly so instead we're just going for a nice frame to the eyes and the face. Oh dear, that sounded like a bird hit the glass. Uh -oh. And then we'll shape it a little with my brush. We do have a clear eyebrow gel, but I feel like the tinted brow cream is enough for shaping and control. All right, let's do a little bit of the, and I brought my brush for the concealer. You don't need a lot. The, The makeup is doing a good job of it. We'll do just a little. I'm just going to pat it with this mm -hmm. smoother side. Mom doesn't have puffy eyes, but one thing you don't want to do if you do have puffy spots under your eyes is to put the light color on them because lighter colors pull the light to them. And just like darker colors recede, lighter colors come forward to our eye. So it would make your puffs look even puffier, <laughs> which is not fun. Not what you're looking for, is it? No. All right. This one you said was your blush brush. Mm -hmm. These little brushes that I'm using are a little travel set that Arbonne put out a while ago. So mom traveling to be here with <laughs> me <laughs> brought her travel set. <laughs> so I'm using the Starlight Glow palette. And I'm going to be using Moonstone and Twilight mixed together to do some, um, what did I call it? Contouring. Contouring. Thank you. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be dark. I can pull this up a little. Thank you. To give the contouring effect. You want it 
blended so it just looks like light and shadow. We have a glow. <laughs> exactly. Starlight glow, apparently. Yes, I guess so. And the easiest way to know to do it is a three. So just like that on each side of your face with the three and a little under your chin to help that recede just a bit too. Can you look this way, please? Mm -hmm. I will. <clears throat> Even if I have my hair pulled back when I do the cheek part, the middle of the three, I end up pulling <laughs> my hair across my cheek. Mm -hmm. It's a very funny look. <laughs> All right. And then I use the Stardust, the pinker shade, for her cheeks. Or the blush. Did you do the side too? Not with the pink. No. Just with the three. Okay. Got a little too much. I'm trying to swing it back <laughs> off again. It out. <laughs> That's when I go. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We've done brows, we've done eyes, we've done cheeks. Mm -hmm. So we need to line the lips. Okay. Yeah. Get down in there. Oh, yep, here it is. And mom's got a lovely neutral shade that is matches her lip color. This one is Revlon. It is not Arbonne. Nude. Nude. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. A little too high. The back side's a little lower than the other. Yeah, but it was like way <laughs> above with a space in between. Yeah, if you do kind of a half smile, it'll firm the lips a little so that the pencil goes on more easily. And the reason you might want to line with a nude liner is just to keep whatever lip balm or lip oil or lipstick or gloss that you put on on the lips instead of bleeding out because as we age with those um i think it's time for you to do your mascara oh okay there it is i was losing track of it mm -hmm. um as we age and get those little lines around our lips we they form little rivers if we don't have a dam, basically. <laughs> That's how it works. Isn't it? So mom is using the Speak Volumes Mascara. Mm -hmm. I still want to say the old name when I freeze <laughs> for a second. <laughs> um, which is lovely and smooth. It's not clumping. It has a thick brush that will get to all of your lashes. It has vitamins and conditioning agents in it for helping to build and strengthen your lashes. So over time, they will be thicker and fuller the longer you use it. Healthier lashes are always a good thing. And it is buildable. So if you put it on one coat and decide you'd like a little more drama than that, you can always add two and three coats to have it be exactly what you want it to be. And we have blonde eyelashes. <sighs> so it's going to be a major difference when mom is done and she's also gonna put some, just sort of dab it on the lower lash line 
so that she has obvious so visible so lashes <laughs> on the so bottom too. Like I have some. Yeah. Exactly. But that's it. It doesn't take an entire train case full of products. Just taking good care of your skin every day and some high quality makeup products that help you as well. And I can put links to all of these um, different products in the comments below or the description if you're watching this on YouTube and let you know where you can get your hands on them and how to find me on different social platforms and see more of these tutorials. It looks it great. Even. <laughs> mm -hmm. It looks great. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Have a great day. I'm gonna exit full screen and